I'm Shana Goodman. I play in a band around here called the Savage Radley. Thank you all for coming out. And I think the way this night's going to go is we're going to talk a little bit about our songs before singing them. And uh, I'm long-winded, so I'll probably get around to singing one song tonight. Um, but uh, anyway, so this might be the only one you hear. This is called uh, Super Tramp. And I wrote it several years ago uh, after reading uh, Jack Kerouac. He's a really great little beat writer and pretty enthralling book if you haven't ever checked it out or any of his writing. I mean, I'm more of an Allen Ginsberg person, but pretty good. So this is off one of his characters, and I hope you enjoy it. Soup Tramp. Are you better hold on to me? I'll be taking all. Don't be surprised when you see these bones rambling on. If it takes us to nowhere, ain't that a nice place to be? Or just as long as in nowhere, you're always beside me. Oh, you better hold on to me, this won't hurt at all. Don't be surprised when you leap, you might not survive the fall. We'll take all your worries, place them inside. Jar. We'll dig in a hurry, bury them in my backyard. Oh, and I know you do the best you can. Well, it's so hard with a super tramp like me. And I know you do the best you can. Well, it's so hard with a super tramp like me. You better hold on to me. I'll be taking all. you can well it's so hard with a super tramp like me and I know you do the best you can well it's so hard with a super tramp like me oh I'm Jenny Johnson. I'm from, I'm not from here. Um, <laughs> I'm from Carbondale, Southern Illinois. I, I uh, play music around the Midwest and whatnot, and I uh, currently just started teaching at Southern Illinois University, um, audio production and fun things like that. Um, and I, but for the longest time, I was a freelance musician, and, and then I got a real job. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, but no, I got a, I got a steady job. And that's been a lot of fun. But I also I still like to write. I get too busy. And, uh, but I did just write a bunch of new songs. <clears throat> oh, I'm not going to play right away. That's, I have my music stand for later when I bust out some of these new songs because they're so new that I still haven't even digested the lyrics yet. And uh, so I don't quite remember. But I'll play a song that I do know. 
And I'll keep it light when I start here. Um, this one is called Evan, Jack, and Jim. Can anybody guess what it may be about? <laughs> it's about whiskey. Uh, you guys are really deep writing all these beautiful songs about like fictional characters. And I'm like, here, I got a song about whiskey I wrote when I was younger. <laughs> <clears throat> Chicks on the strip of bed and got you giving all of your chips and he can't help a job. You can't see your kids in life. Ain't easy just the way it is. Breaking your back, working under the sun, giving every day about the money don't come and you can't pay your bills, you can't pay your debt. Come on, sweet child, let me help you. Ooh, if you think you're drinking alone, now baby, you got friends. You got Evan, Jack, or Jim. Well, hey, hey, da da. I'm not impressed unless I see something truly unusual. Oh, well, let's just say you will keep this casual. But it's a cartel till to end up looking at you. you done if you think of drinking alone baby you got friends you got Evan Jack or Jim well hey da da I'm not impressed unless I see something ooh, unusual. Well, let's just say we'll keep this casual. But it's a car till 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 end up looking at you. play the guitar that great. <laughs> All right, thanks. All right. Just get ready, because literally none of my songs are fun like that. <laughs> At all. Get but ready I to get depressed, I think people. you brought the fan club here tonight. Who came to see this young lady play? Yeah, yeah, all right. All right. <laughs> I got a big, loving, dedicated family. That's what I got. So, hey, this song is called, I'm Lane Davis, by the way, and this song is called Save My Words, and it's one of the only songs of mine that is cerebral enough, I completely understand it, but I can fully not explain it to you. So, partly it is about Virginia Woolf drowning herself, 
Told you, not fun. Um, but it's more hopeful than that. I think it's kind of comparing that to that being the worst case scenario. And that has to be the worst thing that your fate could end up. So everything else is kind of candy after that, right? So this is called Save My Words. Great first song, right? <laughs> your throat, swallow them down, the shadow make you choke. Say my words in the back of your throat, swallow them down, let the shadow make you choke. Say my words, drink them down, oh my my, what a beautiful sound. Say my words, drink them down, oh my my, what a beautiful sound. I'm going down, 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 down to the deep. Make me black and blue, let the river drown me clean. Go and set my body, break it down. Oh, my, my, what a beautiful. your throat, swallow them down, the shadow make you choke. Oh, say my words, drink them down, oh my, my, what a beautiful sound. Say my words, drink them down, oh my, my, what a beautiful sound. I'm going down, 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 down to the deep. The river drown me clean. Go and set my body, break it down. Oh, my, my, what a beautiful, beautiful sound. Oh, my, my, what a beautiful sound. I saw a man with no skin on his hands grow back again. So I know that from fire will burn and from fire will Because my father was called by flame that 
turned in the wind So I'll just do what I'm told And I'll build on the sand That's been our time through the glass There in your hands And won't you turn it, oh turn it around And over again Let the minutes and hours pour out and fill up your hands. Even though I could burn down a city, oh. God said that he'd spare a city for a heart that was true. So tell me, should I burn down that city over you? Thank you all. want to say that was an awesome freaking song thank you i am super honored to be on stage with these ladies i am same same also uh good idea mr todd birdsong director of the clemens fine arts center please give todd a hand for putting this whole thing together <laughs> this is one of those things like i i i love this idea and a, and I, I think there should be more of these for sure for sure totally all right, I'm going to play this new song, so it's, um, <laughs> so we'll just see. So I, okay, so um, I'm going to play this song. It's about, what's that? Oh, I'm not nervous. I, um, I just am about to tell you some personal things about myself. <laughs> this song is called Raccoon Valley, and it's about, uh, I used to live on a place called Raccoon Valley Road, and <laughs> raccoons love trash, and uh, I would trash say, pandas. So, I'm so they, sorry to interrupt. No, you're good. It's, it's that's why they're trash pandas. Definitely a right? trash panda type of area, and I was hanging out there, um, and it was just because it was cheap, and I lived in a beautiful pink and green Miami themed colored uh, trailer, and everything in this song is absolutely 100 percent true. Um, I wrote it, the first lines, which I'm super proud of, is uh, my neighbor is sawing by moonlight on meth. Um, in the middle of the night, I hear sawing, like, a, like not like just a hand saw, but I'm talking like, a, you know, what's the, the circular saw going off? There's no lights next door, just no lights. She's outside by moonlight sawing things to shore up her house for the winter. Um, to put some stuff on the outside of the house. And I was like, well, damn, if you just didn't write that first song for me. Thank you. <laughs> so uh, this was uh, all based. And then I was like, you know, let's just, there's so much stuff about this place I could write. I, you know, it was one of those places where it was just like a songwriter's gold mine. It was like, you're making this too easy for me. Um, but it was also a very real experience that I was like, it was, you know, powered through it, did it. Sawing by moonlight on meth She is sure in her house For the icy cold breath Of a winter that's coming And winter 
don't rest here in Raccoon Valley Park. A new couple moved into the green lot next door. I hope they will stay, but there's been many before. Oh, they put up their tarps and pool table outdoors. Landscape vehicle they call. There's a big marble home on the hill waiting for you. And my boyfriend at this point was like, you just literally told the street address to our house? <laughs> like, we still lived there at the time when I wrote this. He was like, you're, you literally wrote down, take old 51 down Raccoon Valley Road. It's still there. You can see it for a while. Um, so he was like, I don't know if you should re record this yet till we leave. And so now we've left so we can. <laughs> Well, the floorboards are soggy inside and out. I step on the porch and I let out a shout as my leg goes straight through and I'm dangling now. What you doing? Just hanging out. Well, there's mice in the ceiling and they fall like hell's rain. The septic lagoon, it don't smell like they say You take good with the bad and you go day by day And you laugh when there's nothing to say Anybody ever know what a septic lagoon is? Uh, yeah, I didn't either until I moved in. Um, excuse my language, but it's a shit pond. It's a place where all the septic sewer goes in, and that was our lakefront view. <clears throat> well, Take old 51 down Raccoon Valley Road. There's a pink marble home on the hill waiting for you. The next verse is an unfortunately very true reality of the park. Well, loud words of unrest, they come from next door. You mind your own business till you can. A man pulls out a gun with a baby on board And you see it all from your porch I'm a saving and scrapping and one day I'll move out The walls they may leak but they're cheap anyhow I'll make all new memories in a new little house And have stories to talk about So I just bought my first house ever, y'all and I moved out. <clears throat> well, I'm excited if you're not, damn it. All right. Take old 51 down Raccoon Valley Road. There's a pink mobile home on the hill waiting for you. But oh, we love Sebo, not living in luxury. Thanks. Love the street. Before. Before I go, would you kindly repeat that line about the mice in the hell rain? Or I was really proud of this one That's as well. brilliant. Um, there's mice in the ceiling and they fall like hell's rain. <gasps> so, yeah, no, I was literally walking around my house and I saw something go boop. And I was like, I'm sorry, what, what was that? <laughs> there's nobody home, what is happening? And then five minutes later, boop. Um, we had just mice falling out of the ceiling. <laughs> 
the song choices I made in order have, are so inappropriate. <laughs> I guess we should have planned this. So sorry about that. I'm going to need a minute because mine are so serious. <laughs> Most of mine are serious, at least the ones that play in public. And that line is so brilliant. I'm going to have a really hard time keeping a straight face about this poor man in my next song. So a lot of my songs, um, I don't really know why I've been asked this question a lot, but a lot of my songs are from the male perspective, and I think it's because a lot of the time periods in which my songs take place, nothing interesting was happening at women, with women outside of the home. It's sad, but that's true. Um, because a lot of the time periods in which I write are about my family and family history, and the, the people out of the community that I know that most of these are kind of based on, this one in particular is not fully true. Um, it's called Good Enough, but essentially it's just about abject self-loathing and enough time to regret things you cannot change. But again, it is not moss falling from the ceiling. So I'm going to, this is called Good Enough. When I lose my keys and I find myself standing red face looking at a sign that says, Come again, we're sure glad you came. When it's too late now to go home again, and the words I said to my only friend cut too deep to ever be sewn up. I'll look back to remember who I was, remember who I Lights come on and the music's out and the chair's turned up when my money is spent. I'll take a smoke outside, wonder where I should go. I take the gravel till the black top begins. It ain't no fun when the fun all ends. And I'm the one feeling so hard up. I can't outrun the things I'm not proud of. Things I'm not proud of. Sure enough, when I was strong enough, and I was good enough. So I walk your way just to pass the time, and I tell myself, turn around each time, it's like a beat up record playing in my mind. It's when nothing I can drink can never be enough. Back to remember who I was. How can you be good when you're not good enough? How can you be sure when you're not strong enough? How can I go back to who I really was when I was sure enough and I was strong? next song I do this every once in a while I'll play a song that I haven't even finished and this one's about maybe a third of the way done 
and I, so I'm gonna make up some lyrics. So sorry y'all paid good money to come watch me <laughs> sing like not real songs, but I'm working on it. And sometimes if you just sing it without having it all there, you'll just it it kind of just helps with my writing process. And I think this night is all about kind of uh, letting you good folks into that. Um, but I know as of now, the song is about my dad's warnings of, you know, he's a small town man. He's lived in Nashville to go to school, but he, uh, I remember when I was like a freshman in college, he was like, Shana, you go to the city, you're going to get on drugs. <laughs> and I don't know why he always had these views of things. I don't think he just, I just don't think he wanted me to leave home. But, um, and then the other part is just about kind of, spending a lot of time in Nashville and having some of your heroes kind of, uh, you know, kind of getting a, a view of them that you didn't have before. And um, it seems random, but it, it all goes in with the story. I've got a cousin, he's big into hunting. He's on a really nice hunting uh, adventure down in Tiptonville, Tennessee. And he's there with Possibly the person I mentioned in my song, uh, just for legalities, I, and I know we're filming here, so I'm just, <laughs> I'm just gonna say I'm a t taking aesthetic distance right now. You know, I'd got to talk to my lawyers first. But <laughs> this person, who will be in the song, um, was there on this hunting trip with them, and this gentleman came to him and he said, "Sir." My boy is, is such a big fan of yours. I've got his guitar in the truck. Would you be willing to sign it? And he said, yes. So he brought it in to him, and he handed it over to the man. And that man took that kid's guitar and broke it right there on the floor. And that is just uncalled for, mm -hmm. you know? If I was that boy's daddy, it would have been, I don't care who you are. So anyway song is Tell It Like It Is. Oh, if you go down to Nashville, keep this in mind. They're all looking for someone to use. They'll be picking
Thank you. This song is called Water to Wine, and I wrote it a long, long time ago. And um, it's one of the more kind of bluesy, jazzy songs I have because I wrote it in a time period when I was playing with a band of really talented guys, and a lot of the covers we did and a lot of the stuff we did was very bluesy and jazzy. So it's on my album that I have over here for sale. We all have albums for sale. So FY over there after, see you there. Um, but anyway, this is called Water to Wine. And I think you're going to notice a theme that a lot of my songs are about self-worth, making decisions that are good for you, even if they're hard or abject, self-loathing, that too. Um, but this song is kind of about that. It's not, it's not actually about me. It's about one of my friends. But it's also about me too because I wrote it. So it's trying to learn from others that you're close to the mistake and try to... to Try to develop enough self-worth that you make good decisions for yourself. And so that's what this song is about. Your love for me is like water 
to the wine Makes a drink up further but it don't Make me lose my mind Thinking you could read my mind Hands just keep on spinning But I seem to fall behind Oh, we are in love Oh, we are all right Oh Do you want your love for me is so insincere? Take the cup I drink it every time you come near. Time, sweet angel, can't give you all you need, but I can give you ten to three. And if that's what you're looking for, well, saddle off cause you can ride with me. Can't be together, oh no, I don't do forever. See, I'm happy all by myself. Sometimes the nights get cold and you need someone to want to be a one tie. I am sweet angel. What you're looking for, well, saddle off cause you can ride with me. Never needed a man, yeah, I just want your helping hands. If you want to lend, you can. Sometimes the nights get cold and you need someone to want to. Be a one tie I am sweet angel, can give you all you need, but I can give you ten to three. And if that's what you're looking for, well, saddle off cause you can
like I studied opera for like two years. Um, <laughs> feel one time. Debbie Downer's back. <laughs> this is actually a true story. And it's about a, a duel in Mexico. And it's true. This is about my maternal great-grandfather. And he left Kentucky to homestead out in Colorado. And this was in like the late, uh, or, uh, late 1890s. So they had, he, he and a fellow homesteader, had a dispute over land and sheep. And it was legal to go to Mexico and have a gentleman's duel. And he won. And you might think it's because I'm here. and You're probably right. Uh, that's how you know he won. Uh, but this is, I always sort of wondered, I'd heard that story my whole life, and I always wondered, like, how he felt because it, like, it wasn't cold-blooded murder, but he still killed somebody. So I always wondered how he felt about it. And this song, he's remorseful, but I just, I don't know. So this is called Mexico. The desert is long and endless. This journey alone I must make. When it's all said and done, he'll be helpless. Pray my soul will keep as it so light take Cold as a stone, 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 cold as a stone. When I reach that green grass of Mexico, the hot sun of high noon is rising. My footsteps sang to 27 pace. They say reckless is a man who throws a coin into the wind. But when you're the fastest draw, luck's what you make. Cold as a stone, 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 cold as a stone. I'll lay that body down. some bread and we soaked it up too hard to chew far too tough we got full yeah we had enough of us We 
took a shot and it's still burning We're not dead, we're still learning Oh, don't call me honey, honey It don't mean nothing when you say it change nothing when you say it or say it to me don't know what is wrong with these two hearts they've been broke right from the start put them back together fall apart All in vain, all for naught, no trust. Mm -hmm. ah. We took a shot and it's still burning. We're not dead, we're still learning. Between the Ohio and the Mississippi River, there's a place I know with a brown eyed man who plays a piano. Gonna meet my baby tonight. The river calling nearly 40 days, and the water's almost broke. All the levees ain't raised, but a song kept coming across the open plains. It could meet your baby tonight. Sands, 
more beautiful than pictures in a postcard stand. But I left my heart in the Midwest land with the Midwestern man. Well, you're sweet like honey and you taste like wine. And everyone here seems to have a good time. Though down your road, boy, cast a line. But you don't get too high.
it's too late to be calling Three hours since the baby went to bed But with only the comfort of this bottle I get to feeling things I cannot say out loud Not so long with this lonely heart The miles I've traveled Broken bottles and empty bars But moving on's the only way I feel at home Moving on's the only way I feel at home Moving on's the only way I feel at home Thank you. I think to keep with the theme of me and Lane holding down the, the sad songs, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll end my last original with a, I don't know, I don't really think it's, it's, I don't necessarily think it's that sad, it's just more reflective, um, but let's see, I wrote the song last June after, um, uh, you know, I think, I think it's actually pretty normal for people to get to a point in life where they're not really sure about uh, about going on um, anymore. Luckily, a lot of us have a lot of supportive friends um, to get through those times, and that was a time for me. And and um, that next year, as I was developing the song, I was in four car accidents, and I wasn't the cause of any of them. Um, I'm a good driver, just ran into a lot of bad ones. But um, it's really weird. It, I've never been in a car accident before last year, and I was T-boned, and um, that one was really bad. And then the other ones were um, not as bad. And then the last one I had, I was on tour, and me and my buddies were in a car, and it was raining, and uh, anyway... We slammed in, I wasn't driving, but we slammed into the back of a car on a stopped interstate going about 60 miles per hour, and that one was super bad, but um, it's really weird how you reflect over those things about how at one point in your life you may have thought you didn't want to live anymore, and then you just get all these experiences of coming real close to not, and um, so it kind of makes this song a really weird one for me. Um, and on top of it, uh, just in the theme of car accidents, uh, about a month ago I had a, a buddy pass away from one, and so I, I don't really know what the deal with, with cars for me right now is, but hopefully, and hopefully that theme will stop pretty soon. Um, but I think this song is, is just a reminder to tell people that you love them because you just never know. It's called Space and Time. Who have 
tried Their grips on my heart and their grips on my mind The stranger I pass, my mama, brothers, friends and my father Their God undercover I'm telling you now in case I must go Want you to know So this is our last song going around with, um, so that was Shana's last song, and this will be my last song, and, and um, this one, so, you know, you, if you've ever listened to any kind of bluegrass music, they throw a lot of girls in the river, and so um, I thought I would, you know, commandeer that subject and, and make it um, work out the other way around. Um, this song is called Abilene. Which, yes, you may be thinking, that's already song. And you're like, I'm like, yes, I took that too. Um, so this is a song called Abilene, and it's a murder ballad. me too well well I lost my mind I lost myself when I saw you kissing her we lay by side yes now do you feel what I feel inside oh I believe you took my heart I believe dark how does it feel how does it feel now i believe is it cold and dark just like these walls and i'll be getting out in 25 oh and i'll be there up by your side when you die oh i believe I swear I'll be the last face you ever will see. And uh, if you die before parole, I'll take the devil on for your soul. Listen, love. 
Keep your heart out of desire lest you set the world on fire. Something dark. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry, I ended the one on murder. <laughs> Not so fast, because mine's potentially about murder, too. <laughs> I'm just going to sing it. It's called Appaloosa. And um, I feel like sometimes, and I feel like you guys can probably agree, like you know how the story goes, the narrative that you're writing, but you're not positive how it turns out. It's like a Japanese movie where you're like, I don't, don't really know what happened, but it was pretty. So I feel like this is like, I think, the man, it's male perspective, we've talked about this, y'all keep up. Um, I think he kills her. But I don't know. So you get to choose your own ending, like a 1994 Goosebumps. Because I'm here to please. All right? <laughs> nice name drop there, Goosebumps. All right. <laughs> R.L. Stein. And then I drop the microphone and walk off. And you're like, I thought she was going to play another one. <laughs> I'm kidding. I am going to play another one. I'm not going to leave yet. And this is called Appaloosa. If you wanna say you're leaving 